Thanks, Carl. <laughs> Carl <Carly. laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, thank, thank you for coming. Um, uh, like, uh, I, um, Jamie? Yes. Yeah. Um, like she said, um, I'm Carl G. Um, just a few weeks ago, I was a lonely actuary struggling with the uh, divorce with his ex-wife Cynthia of 14 years and my troubled, frayed relationship with my twin sons, Bradley and Brian, <laughs> also known as B&B. Um, and uh, I started writing on Yelp after I moved here to Maniunk, to a townhouse. Um, my ex-wife Cynthia and her kids live in Glenside. Um, it's only a few miles away, but it feels a lot longer. And um, I... Uh, just also, uh, I will get more into her, but um, I met um, my new lady friend, Tanya M, um, who, um, an OKCupid, okay um, she was uh, um, in jail for 18 months for, um, for voter fraud. Um, it wasn't her fault. She was pressured by her boss uh, to help rig a school board election in Montgomery County. Uh, she served her time, though. Uh, and uh, she's a strong woman, yet also a fragile white-winged dove. Um, so, uh, first, um, just can we uh, thank uh, Anne and the Spiral Bookcase for having me? And um, also, um, um, I want to thank Verizon. Um, because um, I got Fios today. And um, um, the guy, he showed up, like, I is supposed to, I work from home now, um, because uh, now I'm not an actuary anymore. Um, I write for Contingencies Magazine, uh, the trade publication of the American Academy of Actuaries, because uh, um, I had a creative writing class in um, college and uh, at Ramapo in Mawa, New Jersey. And... Um, my cray writing professor was really encouraging and said I could really do it, but my parents, um, uh, my parents, um, wanted me to take the safe route. So I always took the safe route and never took a risk. And it became, <laughs> it's funny because then actuaries, we manage risk. <laughs> so, um, so, um, so, I have some, um, unpublished Yelp reviews um, I'm going to read tonight. Um, is that okay with you guys? Okay. Um, the first three are from my early journey in the Yelp canal. Um, um, so, um, I'll get my... Oh God. Oh God. Where are my stories? Oh wait. Thank you, uh, and once again, thanks to Sprabble Case and Verizon. <laughs> this is a review of Vince's Golf, 4121, Raider Avenue, Roxborough. Yeah. <laughs> Located at the intersection of Ridge and Raider, <laughs> Vince's Golf has provided Northwest Philadelphia residents with their automotive needs for decades. <laughs> they do everything from major repairs to the finest state-mandated auto emissions testing anywhere in the Delaware Valley. I had to take my car there right after Cynthia and I divorced after 14 years of marriage. So much of it was my fault. I put my career as an actuary specializing in developing risk models for parking garages first at the expense of being a good husband and father to our twin sons, Bradley and Brian, a.k.a. B&B. They now live in Glenside. It's close to my Maniunk townhouse, but it feels miles away. It was funny. I found an old mixtape Cynthia made for me right when I was pulling into Vince's. It was her personalized Best of NPR's Car Talk tape. 
It brought back so many memories. So many vivid memories. This may be oversharing, but Cynthia and I, well, car talk was what we liked to listen to when we made love. <laughs> hearing, <laughs> hearing, <laughs> hearing click and clack, discuss car issues with national public radio fans and listeners, always stirred our loins and brought out our best desires. Most of NPR's weekend programming did, in fact. You bet your garden. Wait, wait, don't tell me. Marketplace weekend edition. Nothing aroused us more than those whispery, hushed voices. Vince had my car fixed up in no time. My car had some muffler damage and required a simple fix at a low, incredibly reasonable price. I would recommend Vince's Golf to anyone in the Roxboro, Maniunk area who needs a car repaired and is trying not to have sex thoughts when he hears Carl Castle's voice. <laughs> Thank, thank you. <laughs> um, this, oh yeah, I, I was told in my, um, I, I used to, where the company I used to work for, um, we had um, a helpline, um, and I would call it when I was uh, struggling uh, with um, the divorce, and um, they said I need to develop a more better positive um, work-life balance, and also, um, that uh, I needed more confidence, and um, that I said like eye contact when you uh, talk to other people was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Zesties, Main Street, Manion. <laughs> Zesties is a long-standing Greek restaurant along Manion's charming, bustling Main Street, noted for having fresh, fresh, fresh fish on a barrel of ice in the front window. <laughs> I came to Zesties one night as part of an event sponsored by Meetup.com. It was for players and fans of the great sport of Ultimate Frisbee. I went to Ramapo, Ramapo College in Mawa, New Jersey. My freshman year, I had a fantastic creative writing professor who really encouraged me to go for it in that field. However, my parents convinced me to take the safe route. I was a business major and ended up working professionally as an actuary. Don't get me wrong, I find actuarial sciences as a challenging and exciting field, particularly in my line of work developing risk models for Canadian parking garages. <laughs> but I also always wonder what would happen if I truly went for it. <laughs> we had an active Ultimate Frisbee community at Ramapo with many, many of the players in the creative writing program. They were true free spirits. <laughs> I had never seen white people with dreadlocks before until I met the Ultimate Frisbee players. I never played myself, but I always wondered what it would be like to throw around the Frisbee after dark in our campus's commuter parking lot with guys named Skyler. I never played though. The meetup.com event was a really nice time. I didn't really say too much as I just sat enthralled with hearing the tales of ultimate frisbee glory. I did have a funny moment with a man at the table who was not wearing a shirt. Our table ordered the hummus platter. We both reached for the same pita at the same time. We touched hands. I laughed and said he could have it because it resembled a whole wheat frisbee. I don't know if the rest of the table heard me, because no one really laughed or talked to me after that. <laughs> but there's still a great group of guys who remind me a lot of my college friends. We called ourselves back then the good guy gang, even though, even though it was half girls. <laughs> I would recommend Zesties to anyone in the Maniac Roxborough area 